Good evening. My name is Katerina Arguera, and I am doing my homework number one over the body cavities and the organ systems. Many internal organs lie in the membrane-lined body cavities. Body cavities help protect the organs from external movement. There are two sets of internal body cavities called dorsal and ventral cavities. Like so. These cavities are closed and provide different degrees of protection to the organs within them. The, dor the dorsal body cavity will house the cranial cavity as well as the spinal cavity. Uh, the cranial cavity contains the brain and is located on the head, and the dorsal cavity is also home to the vertebral or spinal cavity, which houses your spinal cord. Next up, we have the ventral body cavity, which is home to the thoracic cavity as well as the abdominal cavity. The thoracic cavity is surrounded by ribs and muscles of the chest. The thoracic cavity is further subdivided into a lateral pleural cavities, which envelop a lung as the medial mediastinum. The mediastinum contains the pericardial cavity, which encloses the heart and also surrounds the thoracic organs, such as the esophagus, the trachea, and and others. Um, the abdominal pelvic cavity has two separate parts. These regions are not physically separated, but um, are separated by a muscular membrane, membrane wall. Its superior portion is the abdominal cavity, which contains the stomach and the intestines, the spleen, the liver, and other organs. The inferior part, the pelvic cavity, lies the bony pelvis and contains the urinary bladder, some reproductive organs, and the rectum. My second portion of this assignment is covering the major organ systems as well as their organs. So there are 11 organ systems. We have the circulatory system, the digestive system, the endocrine system, the excretory system, the immune, integumentary, and muscular system, the nervous system, the reproductive system, the respiratory, and the skeletal system. The circulatory system circulates the blood and the body around the heart and the arteries and veins, delivering oxygen and nutrients to the organs and cells, which carry the waste products away. It also keeps the body temperature in safe range and homeostasis, and the organs include the heart, arteries, veins, and the blood. Now the digestive system, the system absorbs nutrients and removes waste via the gastrointestinal tract, including the mouth, esophagus, stomach, and intestines, and also eliminates waste from the body. The endocrine system influences the function of the body using hormones. The organs also include the thyroid, pituitary, and adrenal glands. The integumentary system, protecting the body from invasion of microorganisms, secreting sweat, preventing dehydration as a cooling system for the body, acting as a sensory gland, modulating body temperature and electrolyte balance, and synthesize, synthesizing vitamin D. Organs include the skin, hair, and nails. The excretory system is kind of similar. It regulates the chemical composition of body fluids by removing metabolic waste and retaining the proper amounts of water, salt, and nutrients. The organs include kidneys, liver, lungs, and skin. The immune and the lymphatic system, they defend the body against pathogens that may harm the body or make the body sick. The system com is comprising of a network of lymphatic vessels that carry a clear fluid called lymph. The organs include bone marrow, spleen, and tonsils. The muscular system provides form, support, stability, and movement to the body, and the organs include the muscles. The nervous system, uh, it, it works as a kind of communication between the coordination of all the body systems. It sends nerves throughout the body and messages. Uh, the organs include brain and nerves. Reproductive system, the reproductive organs are required for the production of offspring to bring new life. The organs include the uterus, the ovaries, and the fallopian tubes. The respiratory system brings air into and out of the lungs to absorb oxygen and remove carbon dioxide. The organs include the lungs and the trachea. 
The skeletal system provides form, support, stability, and movement to the body. The bones maintain the structure of the body and its organs, and the organs include the bones. And that concludes my homework number one assignment.